that's a very good point i'm recording this because i want to make a video about it mm. but it's true yeah because that makes sense because it's almost like oh, it's, it's a sympathy strong. thing isn't it it's, a, it's definitely a sympathy thing rather than a compliment no it's a, it's a compliment but more out of feeling sorry for yeah. the situation like oh you're a strong black woman it's like okay cool so then what happens when a woman re refers to herself as I'm a strong black woman? I think they've embodied the lie that 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 is a positive, that that can be a positive thing. It can be. Can it be? That's what I'm thinking. Well, I like, can think, it be a positive? I just think it gets thrown around a lot. I mean, when, when you hear strong black woman, mm. you often have the image of somebody that's like very loud. And single. Very kind of extrovert. Mm. Very single. Mm. Very single. And um, is a bit of a man and a woman at the same time. Mm. Well, I don't think that's a strong woman. That's a strong man woman. Strong man woman. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, I get. I think it, strength it, it, is in a mas. No, is it a masculine, masculine woman? See when they use the expression like masculine. Yeah. Ah, uh, what's the video we just watched? What, what expression were they using? Masculine and feminine. Stunt feminine. Feminine. Is it energy? Feminine, yeah. Identify. <laughs> yeah, I just think that that you're not a strong black woman if you're if you, just because you're presenting traditionally masculine and characteristics. Traits. That's it. Yeah. And traits. I yeah. think what makes you, if there is such a th well, there is such a thing, but what makes you a strong black woman would be embodying your femininity mm. and being confident in that. To not feel like you have to be masculine for you to be heard. Well, what 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 quantifies as masculine in this day and age? Everything's just merged and blended. I so it's like, can you even say masculine traits anymore? Yeah, I think you can. What's like the fact that you t you take charge and mm. you can figure it out yourself. You don't need help. Yeah, I think. Well, are men even like that? Well, that's that's the perception mm. of a man, which I don't agree with necessarily. But it's interesting how like collaboration and not knowing all the right answers and, and delegating is a female trait oh is but, it yeah n not knowing the answers you're admitting you don't know for a man that's like i can't oh, do that okay yeah but you look at it that's that's one of the key ingredients to actually leveling up admitting okay i don't know this let me get some help let me get the best people involved to 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 make this what it should be asking humbling yourself to the to the degree where you say listen i don't know i just think that yeah this whole strong black woman i mean i've i've seen it where that title has been given to women that don't even deserve it really yeah i'm like like deserve it but so she so so she shouts she's disruptive she makes a scene and she's a strong black woman really uh. no that's a weak black woman mm -mm. Oh, is that controversial? It's controversial now. We're getting a bit too controversial. But it's true. It's true. So what? What? What that's, is that's it? That's like if you saw a man exhibiting the same characteristics, you call him toxic. Mm. But no, she's a strong black woman because she screams and shouts. Nah, I'm, I'm a strong it. black woman. I'm, I don't buy it. I don't buy it. Strong. A strong... So what's the opposite of a strong black woman? <coughs> In a positive light. Um, what's the opposite of a strong black woman? Oh, as in what What would you call a strong woman, but not in a conventional sense? Yeah. I think just confident in yourself. I think the, the, the key of it is, is that women feel as though they need to be a certain way because of the external environment and how hostile it is. So it's like there's no man around to protect me, so I have to be that. Yeah. Basically. Mm. But... But then if the man was to come, would you allow him to protect you? There you go. Well, you get so used to playing that position that when yeah. he does come, it's like you're now, you're now a threat to, your, to the very person that is there to do it. Yeah. It's well, hard, though. Well, I think the, the inverse of that is you being confident in your femininity. So what is femininity, not, not then? Having, not having to embody this masculine, these masculine traits. You don't need to do that. What is femininity? What is femininity? Yeah. What will constitute femininity? Just what being vulnerable and naive? No, I don't think so. I think I think there's strength in in the collaboration, the ability to to bring people into what you're doing, the teamwork, the social skills, the emotional 
quotient, the ability to know whether you're happy, sad, you know, grumpy, moody, and the empathy and the ability to tell that in people. Brilliant skills mm. that most men don't have a lot of. Bringing people together. So femininity is not like necessarily about how you dress. Collaborate. How you dress or... I think, I think it... Flirting. No, not flirting. Not flirting. That's got nothing to do with it. But I think that warmth is a part of that femininity. Mm. Just having a level of warmth, the ability to, to, to manage people. Or read people. And read people. Yeah, because you've got a, 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 um, a discernment that men don't have as well. I think those things are strength because those are complementary to what a man has, mm. which is men are tunnel vision. This is what I'm doing and this is how I'm going for it. And we tend to exclude people out of the loop when we're trying to figure things out. Well, women are the opposite, bring people in. This is what I'm doing, this is how I'm feeling. What do you think? Mm. Something? It's valid. People may treat, see, hear that and be like, that's a bit of a generalising. But so is the stereotype of a strong black woman. True, true, true. That's a generalisation, but it's women It's a form of judgement, isn't it? Women embrace oh, it because it's like... I'm a strong black woman. I can take care of myself. Oh, do you think there's like a difference between an independent... I'm an independent black woman yeah, but and a, what is a that? strong black woman. Yeah, but that's toxic too. Or do you think they're probably the same thing? Independent black woman is toxic as well. So it's different to strong black woman? No, I think they go hand in hand, but they're not quite the same thing. I think an independent woman isn't necessarily the shouty... Because when you think strong black woman, you think loud... You think not afraid to share her opinion. Sounds think, a bit like me. So, says it how it is, that type of thing. But I think when you do that, you sometimes exhibit masculine characteristics. 